Come on, Spirit, what you gotta get out? I'm drawing the pull card, so let's see what we get. What do you got, Spirit? What do you got? What do you got, Spirit? What do we got? What do we got from my collective? Ask that the powers of be watch over me during this reading. You know how I see and read. Please help me interpret these cards as you see fit. Two of Pentacles in the reverse, and the world, and the High Priestess, and the Fool. Okay, bottom of the deck here. Basis of the matter is, you know what? Someone don't want to make a decision to start something new because they're not trusting their fucking intuition. Someone's being guided to take a leap of faith. Someone's being guided to just throw caution to the wind, say fuck it, and take a chance. But they're not trusting their intuition, so they're not doing anything. And you know, the two of pentacles in reverse, they're taking a loss, right? Whatever the hell they're juggling, they're, they're going to fuck it up anyway. The, those pentacles are going to go two different directions. Because this person won't start a new cycle. It's going to be your energy or someone coming towards you. Okay? What are you juggling? Knowing you're getting uh, directed into another direction. What are you juggling, girl? What are you chuggling? What are you chuggling? What are you chuggling? Maybe you're drinking too much, huh? Chugging? You're chugging some shit? Well, okay. All three in the reverse. So... <sighs> Something's either out of control, out of somebody's hands, or shit's just, you know, yeah, something's just out of someone's control. Page of Wands in reverse. Eight of Wands in reverse. And the Six of Wands in reverse. Well, we got a lot of passion, or at least we should, but that fire's been put out. Page of Wands energy, you know, this is the sneaky fox. This is fuck boy, fuck girl energy, right? That's been cut off. That's past. That's in the past. Communication's been blocked. And there ain't no victory in a situation. Well, probably because someone don't want to make a fucking decision to move on. With the Two of Pentacles in reverse. All these reversals are leading to losses. Page of Wands energy, you know, that's, that's, uh, you know, maybe a, uh, Lack of spark. Could be in the bedroom. Could be a, you know, all their options dried up, right? Someone uh, not being able to, to go on the prowl as they'd like. No communication. That's present energy. Someone's been blocked. And in the future, they don't see no way to a happy ending or a victory. Now let's throw some cards down. Yeah, five of swords. Ace of cups in reverse. The star, yeah, they done fucked up who the hell they wanted. Mm. Oh, but they gonna come crying to you about their fucking troubles. Huh. Well, we gotta take it. You're going on the page of wands, dude. Yeah. Oh. All this page of wands is giving up third party shit. All that party and playing. P and P guys, right? All them options dried up. Truth's being seen, right? Or they're trying to cover up some shit. However you want to take it, guys. The moon's hard at work there, but that's also the gravitational pull of the earth. You know, the moon is a satellite. The moon can bounce back some energies to us. And that full moon light, you know, on most decks, it depicts two people out underneath the moon. Butt ass naked. Well, that energy gets brought back. You know, the moon is just a big old satellite, guys. It's got a reflective surface. So someone's energy is being reflected back. 
Or maybe they're not liking it. Presently, you know, they can't communicate because you know what? <laughs> they're dealing with other options and uh, a partnership that's not in union anymore or troubles in a troubles in a relationship. There's something. Communication's been blocked because, you know, I'm looking at someone's watching. You know, see that bitch on the, the, the Seven of Cups card? It's like someone's watching to see where, what someone's doing, right? Like maybe someone knows someone has options, so they're watching everything they do. It's an unhappy union, however you look at it. That's why that's why they can't communicate. Maybe someone's got a tracker on their phone, right? Maybe someone's you know, dealing with an obsessive person that uh, you know, you just does some shit. Maybe they're like, well, we'll just switch phones, sweetie. We'll switch phones for the day. And someone's like, oh, shit, right? Someone definitely doesn't see victory in a situation. They know something's done and over with. Five of Swords energy coming out of their head, healing a broken heart. They're dropping them swords. That shit from the past didn't work so good. So now they got to come out of their head and figure out what they're going to do. And someone is watching. You know, there's no love. There was no love shown. This Ace of Cups in reverse. You know, the love is gone. The star in reverse. Someone not healing. This star reminds me of someone that is a fucking star, right? Someone that stood out. Someone in the limelight. Someone wanting to be seen. But that's... Yeah, you know, that could be someone ghosting too. You know, they used to be able to watch this person, but now they can't. Oh, someone wants to charge in with some communication though, but do be leery. This is a two-headed horse. You might, uh... You... But I can tell you from this shit, they're going to be crying you a fucking river about the shit going on in their life, right? Because we got some judgment here. We got the emperor in reverse and someone's going really impatient. Or someone's going really impatient. They can't communicate. But someone's going through some shit. They ain't too happy about it. They realize everything's a bust, right? And there's no happiness. There's no love. I've been blocked. It, it's it's shit. Everything is shit, right? But someone probably gonna call you up or wants to call you up and tell you all about it. Oh, my life is such shit. This has gone wrong. This has gone wrong. I can't do this. I can't do that. Yada, yada, yada. <sighs> judgment on the you know. From God above or... Judging the court of law, someone's going to get some judgment, and it's going to knock them on their ass. Some dominant energy here, going to get knocked on their ass. There ain't going to be no victory in what they want. They might be growing a little impatient and get a little sloppy. Some of them might get a little sloppy and a little hasty with communication, so do be leery of that. Oh, well, that's not a happy reading, but that's a reading for somebody. Into the player ways because someone is watching like a hawk, and they see no they see no happy ending. They see no victory. They see no way out here. They're just bitching and moaning and groaning because they they're kind of stuck. I wish we'd have had the hangman come out. Yeah, we got the star twice, you know, the star in reverse twice. This is someone that needs to get some healing. This is someone that's really missing somebody too. I get that with the star, especially in this deck. You know, the star's about getting your chakras in line, getting yourself grounded. It's, it's healing energy. And this star card, I think of someone dreaming, dreaming and wishing on the stars, right? Making wishes, having hopes. You know, this, uh, this person can't even fucking dream anymore. You know, they, they've stopped trying to make plans. They've stopped trying to think about the future. This is like, you're going to hear someone wants to come in and tell you about all the shit that's wrong in their life. How everything they touch turns to shit. So this ain't your reading, someone you're dealing with. Could be a friend, family, co-worker, someone like that. Gonna, gonna unleash a lot of shit about how they ain't feeling good. They ain't doing this. They ain't got that. They, they can't get no growth. Yada, 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 yada. Expect it. Because they're going through some shit. You best believe they're going through some shit. You might not even realize it. 
But they're going through some shit. But with judgment there, with judgment there, that's karma. So if you're going through some shit, what kind of shit did you put out there? You know, uh, maybe that's a question you could ask this person when they start crying in their fucking beer about all the shit that's gone wrong in your life. Well, you know, what have you done good? Huh? Have you done anything good to bring some good karma in? You know, didn't you do some shit a while back that really wasn't the greatest? You know, didn't you, like, do this or do that? Do you think maybe the good Lord up above is going to send some judgment? Maybe. Or if you don't say anything, you could be thinking it to yourself. Uh-huh. You know, weren't you the one that sideswiped the vehicle and didn't tell nobody about it and just drove off? Weren't you the one that, you know, seen somebody drop the $50 bill at the gas station, but you decided to keep it for yourself? You know, someone that does shit and then, you know, not... Not the best vibration only, and then want to cry boo-hoo when shit bites them in the ass. Karma. But expect it. Like I said, this could be a friend, a family member, co-worker. Someone's going to unleash about how, how unhappy they are, about how shit's going in their life. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. If that's your energy, you got to pray and put some good karma out there. <laughs> Peace, love, and light.